In this video we're going to look at summarizing data using the five number summary and uh, the box plot and we'll do example five and six. Example five is heights of children in a fifth grade class. Example six is weight in pounds of salmon caught in a particular river. Okay. In this video we're going to give the five number summary of this data and draw the corresponding box plot. So what we have are the heights in inches of children in a fifth grade class. So 53 inches, 50 inches, 49 inches, and so on. And so you know, uh, uh, 48 inches is four foot. So 53 inches would be four foot, um, you know, five inches, and so on. And this kid would be four foot two inches, and so on. So um, we're gonna uh, do the five number summary and the box plot. And and really, the what I'd like to to achieve with this example is to kind of show you what is the point in having a five number summary what is the point to do in the box plot um, when you look at numbers like that with your eyes it can be kind of hard to figure out okay what are the what's the average type of uh, height there and, and how are the kids spread out are there some more higher than others or 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 are there mostly kind of uh, w how tall are the kids in you know in general so a five number summary in a box plot <coughs> is going to tell us a lot about about the heights of the kids basically right so instead of looking at um, 19 numbers we're going to summarize these 19 numbers with five numbers okay and those five numbers are going to be well we'll get to them they'll be the minimum the the median and the maximum so the the smallest kid uh, the kid that's right in the middle height wise and the tallest kid and then we'll put a number in between the min and the and the middle which is called the first quartile and we'll put a number in between the median and the max which is called the third quartile and that's your five number summary so we're going to summarize these 19 random kind of numbers that you can't really see very well with your eyes into five numbers that that, that goes okay now I have a good idea of, of uh, you know who's the tallest who's the shortest and how the height is spread out so the first step with this is to list the numbers in order. So we'll start by finding the smallest number. Um, that's 47. We're going to do a horizontal list, a list across the page. So I cross them off as you do them, it'll help. The next number I can see is uh, 48. Okay, but watch out, there's another 48 here, so that's another four kid that's height 48. So that's three kids we've done so far, the three uh, uh, shortest kids so far. And then the next number I can see, there's no more 48s, here's a 49. Okay, and then you go, well, how many 50s are there? There's 150, two 50s, right? So there's a 50, and here's another 50. There we go. Two 50s, what else we got? There's a 51, 51, two more kids that are 51 inches high, right? 51, 51, and so just list the numbers in order. And so 52, so we got one, two, three 52s, right? And you can go faster than me if you can, if you want to, that's fine. So 52, and then fast forward the video if you like. So we got 53s, one of them, two 53s. 53, 53. 54s, here's one. 54, just 154, 55s, we have 155 inches. What else we got? A 56, here's a 56. What else we got? A. No 57s, but we have a 58. Do we have any 59s? No 59s, but we have a 60. Right? And then the last number left is 62, no 61s, right? So, <coughs> right away, just by writing uh, data in a list from in a in a, a ascending list from sp smallest to to largest, we can totally see the spread. We can already we can say, ah, oh, I get it now. The um, shortest kid is forty seven inches, which is three foot eleven. The tallest kid is sixty two inches, which is five foot two. Okay, so we can totally see right away just by making the list uh, oh here's a minimum here's a maximum right so so yeah this number here is called the minimum because it's the smallest and that is 47 inches and this number here is called the maximum 
Okay, so that's not too hard to max in um, and that is 62 inches. Okay, or three foot eleven, five foot two. Right now, <coughs> um, the next thing we're going to do because we've got it, we're going to the, the five number summary has got five numbers in it: the minimum, first quartile, median, third quartile, and maximum. So we've done the minimum, we've done the maximum. Now let's try the median. Can you find the median from this list? What's the middle number? You might need to count how many numbers are in the list to begin with, right? So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 divided by 2, by the way, is um, 9.5. Uh, that might help. But the point is, if you've got 19, you're going to have... Um, one number in the middle and then nine either side. See, nine and one and nine, right? So if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, if you take this number, you see, then you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on either side. Okay, so this is their one median right here. And we've got nine numbers here and nine numbers here. So the median is 52. So we're okay with that, right? And, you know, this part of... So that this is the kid that's right in the middle. Half of the class is shorter than him. Half of the class is taller than him, right? So this is the lower half of the class. And these guys are shorter. And this is the upper half of the class. And these guys are taller, right? Now, what we're going to do, so we've got the median, the minimum, the maximum, that's okay. But how do you find the first quartile? Okay, the first quartile is um, the median of the lower half. So what you do is you take the lower half, okay, and you get the median of these numbers, right? So, let's see, check on that. Okay, so taking our lower half of the numbers, the median is here, and we just look at the lower half. There's all these numbers, including the minimum. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers there. What's the middle number of the lower half? Can you find that? What's the middle number of the lower half? And in this case, we, we leave out the median, right? So there's nine numbers, and nine over two, by the way, is 4.5, as you know. So we're going to look for a number, because if you think of it, four, four and four is eight, and one is nine. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. This guy is in the middle of the lower half, and then one, two, three, four, and then there's the median, right? So that hopefully that'll make sense. But this one is called the first quartile number, right? and it's a number and the number is 50 okay so this kid is um, halfway between the median and the minimum right he's the first quartile number right now can you find the third quartile now the third quartile is you take the upper half of the numbers and you find the median of the upper half the middle number in the upper half So, have you got it? So you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That should be the same as down here, right? So it's the same um, uh, the same uh, way. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you've got your uh, second um, quart or third quartile number, and then you go 1, 2, 3, 4 to the end, right? So 55 here is what we call the third quartile number. or the median of the upper half of the numbers, right? So we've got minimum, first quartile, median, third quartile, maximum. Now when we look at these numbers, this is a five number summary, okay?
Oh, and just on the wording, by the way, you could also call the median, it could also be called the second quartile. You can write that down if you want, if it makes more sense to you. Um, but I just thought if we just, we're, we should be fine with median, min, and max, and then we just have to memorize these two funny words, the first quartile and the, and the third quartile. And just try to remember this is the median of the lower half, this is the median of the upper half. I thought that would be the easiest way, easiest way to remember it. But you can memorize the median as the second quartile if you want. Okay. So here's our five number summary. Now, when we started with this data and it was all haphazard, it wasn't even in order, right? And it was hard to see how the, w the heights of the class are spread out. But once we do the five number summary, well, first of all, putting it in an order is great because we get the min and the max right away. And that helps. So the kids go from 3 foot 11 to 5 foot 2. And then you look at the median, which is, uh, so this is, you know, 3 foot 11 inches. And this is uh, 5 foot 2 inches. And then the median is four foot four inches so you go okay this kid is four foot four now half of the class is taller than him and half is below he's right in the middle and um, there seems to be more of a spread between four foot four and five foot two right there seems to be um, a few uh, kind of tall kids that stand out in the class probably and and there's there's quite a few kids bunched between three foot eleven and four foot four, and then the third quartile here is four foot seven inches, and you would say okay, there's one quarter of the class is between four four and four seven, right? Another quarter of the class is between four seven and five two. So you'd say, look, there's only a difference of three inches here, there's a difference of five inches here, so there, and you can see there's a bunch of kids that are uh, quite bigger than the rest in comparison. And then if you look at the first quartile, okay, that's uh, four foot two inches, and this is a difference of three inches, this is a difference of three inches. So these guys are spaced evenly, you would say. So in any case, that's the five number summary, and then to draw a box plot. So to draw a box plot, <coughs> we will first uh, label the axes so our numbers are going from 47 to 62 right so just use some type of grid paper uh, would be best and I'm just gonna make um, let's see, I'm just gonna make this bottom part uh, 40 let's say right and then two four so I'm just gonna go up in tens and make 50 and 60 and then just plot these points so we've got 47 which I'll, I'll just and does just use any line just use this line here 47 then we've got 50 there's 50 then we've got 52 52 is here 47 50 52 and then 55 is here and then 62 okay and so what we do is this middle point here is the median right just ro roll line across there that's the median and um, and what we do is make a, a box around these points here like that okay and um, th the thing is that you know one quarter of the kids are between the minimum and the first quartile. One quarter are between the first quartile and the median. One quarter are here, and one quarter are here, right? And that's where we're plotting, okay? And now, so so this is the box part, and so half the kids. This is the median. This is the middle. So half the kids are in this box. The bottom half, or uh, uh, the bottom quarter, sorry, go from here down to forty-seven. And uh, well, well, I guess we'll just put the numbers there. So that's 47, that's 50, that's 52, that's 55, and then the maximum, the highest kid is up here at 62 inches. Okay, and so, and so that's that's a visual represent representation of this five number summary, right? The five numbers. And um, uh, once again, all you need to remember is that you've got a quarter of the kids here, or you could say 25 percent of kids are between this height and this height then you got 25 percent in this you know part here 
and then 25% of your kids are here and the top 25% are between 55 and 62 inches okay so it just it gives you an idea of the spread so when you look at this graph you can clearly see that um, you know half of the kids are below 52 inches right but we really do have quite the spread uh, in the top half they're spread out especially the top quarter are quite spread out from 55 to 62 so we have a couple a few kids that really stand out as being particularly taller than the rest okay and then you know down here you know the, the, these there's a lot of kids that are um, between 47 and 52 type of thing so you can kinda it, it kinda gives you a visual idea of of these these numbers here okay in this video we're going to give a five number summary of this data and draw the corresponding box plot so by all means press pause and see if you can do it yourself okay so the, in this uh, I'll, I'll do it now so in this example we've got the weights and pounds of salmon caught in a particular river one weekend and the first thing we've got to do is list the orders and numbers in order then find the min and the median and the max and then the two quartiles the first and third quartile then draw a box plot of the five number summary okay so um, just we've got a list of no numbers in order so first thing to do is find the smallest number which is five right what's the next number we've got six right and what's next is there a seven there's a seven yep seven pound salmon and what else we got we got eight and then we've got a nine and we've got one two three tens and elevens we've got one two three elevens twelves we've got one two three twelves then we've got a 13 and then we've got a 14 a 15 80 19 and 21 so we've listed the numbers in order and right away just by looking at the list in order you can kind of say oh okay so the fish go from five pounds to 21 pounds that's a big difference you know and okay half of them are, are, are less than this so but of course if, if you have um, I mean in this simple example we only have 20 numbers but I mean if, if you had you know uh, 2,000 numbers then a five number summary would be awesome you know because you can't look at two thousand numbers with your brain and 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 kind of summarize that data in your head and you would get a computer to list them from uh, smallest to largest of course so anyway um, so we've got the numbers in order now we're going to get the five number summary that's finding the minimum uh, and the two quartiles the median and the max so first thing I want you to do is find the median can you find the median Okay, so we've got 20 numbers, right? The median is the halfway mark. So this is an even numbered of, of points. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if I draw this line here, you see, that means I'll have 10 numbers this way and 10 numbers this way, right? So this is our lower half let's say and this is the upper half and the median is the number that is halfway between the halfway between uh, the list and uh, our median of course is, is going to be between 11 and 11 so what's the average of 11 and 11 So if you want you can do this 11 plus 11 divided by 2 gives 22 divided by 2 what's that 22 divided by 2 is 11 right so the median of course is 11 and um, we're okay with the minimum and the maximum I, I presume which one is minimum which one is maximum right but just before that I just want you to get the quartiles the first quartile and the third quartile so what so what we're doing is we're dividing the numbers into quarters okay so um, we're going to do this we're going to 
we've got 10 numbers down here in this lower half. Uh, can you divide these 10 in half? So the first quartile is halfway, is dividing the lower half in half, right? It, it's, it's a number that, that, that divides the lower half into, into two separate halves. So what's the first quartile number? Can you do that? So if you just look at the lower half, just look at these numbers, okay? Halfway between there, uh, and by the way, we gotta include this 11, right? So this is this half, this is this half, and halfway between there we've got in between this 9 and 10, because you've got five numbers here, five numbers here, right? And this is gonna be the first quartile. That That's gonna be there, we'll calculate that in a minute. Okay, so the first quartile is between 9 and 10. What's What comes between 9 and 10? So once again, the first quartile is the median of the lower half, right? The median of the lower half. So uh, what's the first uh, quartile going to be? It's, it's 9 plus 10 over 2, which is 19 over 2, which is... 9.5. So the first quartile number is 9.5. Okay. What about the third quartile? Where does that come? The third quartile is the median of the upper half. So you just just take the upper half of the numbers and find the median of that. So we got. 10 numbers here, so the median of that would be here, right? And this would be the third quartile. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, okay? So the third quarter is going to be between 13 and 14, so if you just take the average of that, 13 plus 14 over 2 is 27 over 2, which is 13.5, of course, right? So the thir third quarter is 13.5, okay? And so what we've done is we've, we've put the numbers on the list, we split them into quarters. Look, there's five numbers here, five numbers here, five numbers here, five numbers here. So when you have a nice... Uh, we had 20 numbers, and of course, 20 divided, split into four is five, right? So, so obviously, this this was a nice uh, number to work with to find the quartiles. And then, what's the maximum and the minimum number? Have you got that already? So, this one is the maximum or the minimum. That is the minimum, right? So, the minimum number is five. The one at the end, and the max is the one at at, at the top end, right? So this is our five number summary. Five, then 9.5, then 11, then 13.5, then 25, okay? And what it means, of course, is that, well, uh, this is the min, that's the max. Um, half the numbers are less than 11, 11 or less than 11. Half the numbers are 11 or more than 11, right? Um, and out of the lower half, half of them are less than 9.5, and the other the others are more than 9.5. Out of the upper half of numbers, half of them are um, less than 13.5 and half of those are more than 13.5. So basically a quarter of the numbers are below 9.5. A quarter of the numbers, oh sorry, well start again. A quarter are between 5 and 9.5. A quarter are between 9.5 and 11. A quarter are between 11 and 13.5. And a quarter of the the weights are between 13.5 and 25. That makes sense. So split into quarter, quarters, right? Quartiles. First quarter, second quarter, sec uh, third quarter, and fourth quarter, right? So that's the five number summary. Now we're going to draw a box plot, okay? And uh, if you have a little bit of, uh, I'll just give you help with the axes, I guess. So our numbers are going from five up to 21, not 25, silly me. That should be 21. I'm sure you po spotted that, my mistake, 21. So if we make our axis go from zero and then uh, three, four, five, we'll call that five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. So I'll just make my axes go like that, and then I'm just going to mark off the five number summary. So we'll start with five, put that here, 
and there we've got 9.5 you've got to give yourself some space who's going to draw that box remember so start don't start uh, here start over here somewhere right so 5 then there's 9.5 and that goes here and then we've got uh, 11 for the median which is right here then we've got 13.5 which is right here then we've got 21 which is here oh sorry up here sorry 21 up there okay so the trick is um, this is the median right here at 11 okay and um, and we just draw a box around that okay and so the median is 11 and if you take the lower half um, the the, qu uh, blah, blah. the lowest quarter goes from 5 to 9.5 and then the next the second quarter of pound uh, of weights of salmon goes from 9.5 to 11 the third quarter goes from 13.5 11 to 13.5 and the fourth quarter goes from 13.5 all the way up to 21 and the reason for doing a box plot is to give you a quick visual and if you just looked at that let's say you didn't know anything about the numbers if you just looked at that what, what, what would that tell you just looking at that box plot well this box plot uh, first of all 21 jumps out as being unusual uh, the top quarter of weights are kind of spread out it seems okay so um, there's a few uh, uh, heavy fish among this catch right uh, it seems because this box part where you've got the the two quarters around the median um, these two quarters this box is quite uh, small so um, you know half of the fish are are right there around 11 pounds okay and then this five pounder is, is seems to be quite a bit below compared to the box and so um, it's kind of saying well okay half the fish are around 11 pounds uh, well half the fish are between nine and a half and thirteen and a half and then you've got some that are heavy and then then some that are lighter okay so that, that that's kind of a, a general just a quick visual when you look at that right so really quickly just to make it crystal clear what a box plot means uh, when you see box plot you can immediately say that that's that's divided into quartiles see that's it, this is one part this is another so there's one two three four parts so this is divided into four parts so this, these are quarters so you can see that this box plot is we have 25 percent of salmon weigh between five and nine point five pounds okay and then with this part you can see that one quarter or twenty five percent of salmon weigh between uh, nine point five and eleven pounds of the salmon that were caught that weekend and and and, uh, and so on and so this is another 25 percent 25 percent way between 11 and 3 13.5 and of course the top 25 percent way between 13.5 and 21 pounds so I hope I don't need to write that out to, to demonstrate the point but uh, I guess what I like you to think about is of course you know we don't have time to, to do a huge big project with 2,000 numbers but if you did have 2,000 numbers and this was the answer you know, this is kind of nice. Instead of 2,000 fish, you could go, oh, 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 hold on a second. Okay, so, you know, they're, they're ranging from 5 to 21 pounds, a uh, quarter between these numbers, a quarter here, a quarter here, and a quarter here. And then it just gives you a good, quick summary and a visual of what type of weights uh, the salmon are, instead of seeing a, a massive, big, long list of numbers. So I guess that's that's the point there, right?